いやーグーグーグーモーニングよグーモーニング Listen Today is What's today? I don't even know Kim are you awake? Huh? You've been awake for some time? The whole time? What's that mean? Oh, okay. Oh, you went to sleep when Kate went to sleep? All right, guess what? We're going to that thing today. The carnival thing. So, y'all, we're going to this. Hold on. Let me, let me get myself together. There's Kaden. <clears throat> so, we're going to this... Um, thing today and it's like um how do I explain it it's called it's only from like 12 30 to 2 and and it's like you you it, all the games are like three cent five cents so it's, it's probably like a piggy bank thing for kids so I'm gonna pack the kids. I make the kids eat some turkey bacon, but um, I'm about to pack the kids for lunch and all that, and we're gonna get there a little bit earlier so we can play at the park and eat our lunch. And then we're gonna have a little lunch, lunch. you know? But I gotta get all of this ready still. I gotta get all of this ready still, and. Dinner, I mean, breakfast made. Well, not breakfast made, because I'm gonna just make it all awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm about to just make them all some bacon, some turkey bacon, some eggs, really quick. and toast for Caden. Oatmeal for Cop Cameron and Cod. So let me get this breakfast really set together and then I'm gonna talk to y'all here once I'm getting ready and putting all my stuff on. Okay? So I'm gonna talk to him in a second. Let me let me just get I, I started this vlog like unprepared. Okay. So let me get prepared and then I'll be back. I love y'all. Okay, y'all. I don't look no different, but I finished their breakfast. So, I'm gonna move that a little bit closer to me. So, Cameron, oatmeal, eggs, bacon, toast. Kai Kai, same thing. Kaylin don't like oatmeal, so he just got two pieces of bacon, egg, and toast. So he got just more of his, because he don't like oatmeal. But yes, there we go. I got their breakfast made. Now I need to get there. Um, boys. Boys. Breakfast. What's wrong? What's wrong? You want to eat? All right, get your plates. Which one is mine? Which one do you think is yours? Hmm? It doesn't matter. Either one of these two are the same. Pick this one actually. It has a little bit more oatmeal on it. I don't know how, okay, but I'm usually going to use my iPad on my phone, so I choose my phone. I don't know how to 
Yeah. No, go ahead. After I got this breakfast made, I'm about to eat some oatmeal real quick, and then yeah. what? Yeah. What there? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't say Jeffrey was coming. I said he might go, end up going there. Jeffrey's mom told me about it. I don't know who the who. I don't know if he'll be there or not, but I know we're going. Okay. But I'm about to pick your guys' clothes out. I'm about to pick your guys' clothes out while you guys eat. Okay? Okay? Yep. All right, y'all, I'm about to get dressed. I already brushed my teeth and all that. But I'm about to get their clothes out, get my clothes out, figure out that. And then I'll be back one time, put together finally. The other time was me kidding about me being put together today. Now, y'all ain't gonna see me until I'm put together. Okay? Y'all, I'm back. Y'all see, I got my sleep. Oh. Uh, together real quick. Nothing too crazy. Hold on, let me take a this one real quick. Sorry, broskies. Um, what am I saying? I packed my kids lunch. We're in the car now. Got everybody ready. Meet them together. We're doing okay. And we're going to actually, we're going to go pick up Liam and Ian first before we go to <clears throat> our little day adventures. So they're going to come along with us. I'm riding a bike right here. But it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Got my kids' little piggy bang. We're gonna have some fun. Dang, it's a little traffic y. It's 11 30. to play some games kai kai what about you kai kai you play games all right sorry go back to what you're doing cammy you ready kaden you ready no no liam you ready no you and cammy not you and kaden not ready okay i'm the only one i just okay. you and liam i mean you and ian Look at our lovely lunch, Kai Kai. Look at Kai Kai. Yeah. 
Как это стерем милаки? Um, I also have these for the cheese. All right, let's eat. Kaika! You cry to come here. Whoa, hello. You giving me some food? Mommy would like some french fries. Hey, hey, come back here. Hey, serve me my food. Oh, there's your brothers. Not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a bit more spicy than I thought it was gonna be outside today. Mm -hmm. Why? You need, here, give me it. Somebody, Cameron, help me give it to me and then go with Cameron. Kai Kai. I'll take it. Uh, there's still more. Oh my goodness. Still more. Ooh, who's that? Where did it come from? I was caught being good. Can you trade me it? Ooh, nice. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It is very spicy outside. Hold on. I did not expect it to be oh, wait. this hot. Well, on this question, they can even tell you know what to do. Mm -hmm. So my kids got a little bit to play, and then we go out <laughs> to sit in the air condition. I mean, I love being outside, but my peak time to be outside is not like between twelve and three. That's where it's like spicy, spicy. Give me a. a uh, what do you call it? Give me a six o'clock. I'll take my kids to a park at night any day. Give me the 70, 75 degrees, and we can stay as long as you want. Oh, baby's just calling me. I'm gonna show you them. So hold on, let me show you them real quick. Does that feel good? Is it cooling you off? Need some more? <laughs> Yo. This look crazy. This towel. It looked like it got stuff all over it, but it's really just. I'm gonna just keep it like that. I'm gonna just take this towel down. Cause it looked nasty, but it's really not nasty. But anyways, y'all. So, I just got home from taking the kids to that little, um, I don't even know what you want to call it. It was like a, I thought it was going to be more like a carnival, but it was kind of like a thing where you just play games. And they have it to wear like all the games. I'm sorry, I had to make some more storage. Wow, I got, I you remember y'all when I promised that I was going to, uh, Look at this. I promised that I was going to, um, what am I even talking about? But I was gonna delete storage off my phone and put it on my ex external hard drive. Still never done it. But anyways, it my storage cut me off. We were at this, we were at this, um, I can make my hair look a little presentable. But this little carnival thing, it was fun, but the kids honestly liked the park more than they cared about the carnival. 
So we ate lunch. Y'all saw we ate lunch. I made a little cute lunch for them. And they just ate, they played, but then I realized it was a little bit too hot. So we came home, I just laid the two younger babies down. It's almost two o'clock, which I usually lay them down a lot sooner, but it is what it is. So I'm about to, because I was sweating so bad, I'm about to jump in the shower really quick, take a quick shower, which I'm pretty sure I found some more. Yes, more my shower cap. Um, but I'm gonna have to hop on here before anything because I this has just been on my heart so bad and I I just I keep trying to like not say anything, not say anything, not say anything. But how can I not? Right? Y'all see it. Y'all, I have told y'all so many times. The person in the place that I was in a year ago was somewhere that I was never going to be again. Never. I, I, it just, it, it could not be because I was that unhappy. Like, and, it, and I realized, like, after going through so much stuff, I realized it was really just me finding confidence within myself and finding happiness within myself and being happy with me and being happy with who I am and being happy with just what I give off. You know what I'm saying? Like just being happy for me, not for anyone else, not for anyone. Like, and it sounds so crazy, but like not even for my kids at the time, because it's like, I couldn't be the mom that I needed to be to them without being 100% for myself. And so even though I was still mom 24 seven, seven days out of the week, I just slowly, slowly, slowly worked on myself, realized I had a problem, realized that it was out of my hands, realized that I needed help, realized like just reaching out, having that help, having that support with whatever I needed, you know? And then, you know, then I, I just decided like, I'm going to enjoy my life. Like I, I will never be one of those those moms that just, man, man, I hate God. I hate. I don't enjoy my life. I don't enjoy my life. I wanted to really enjoy my life. I wanted to, um, just, I don't know, experience new things, do new things, have fun and enjoy my life. Enjoy being a parent. Enjoy also being a Leah just enjoying being a being, you know what I'm saying? And I, 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 I and y'all, I'll be looking back on some of my videos and I'll be like, I can never go back to that again. I can never go back to that, that stress, anxiety having which i'm still having all this but like just without it being managed um unhinged no one knew when i was gonna be happy or be sad or be mad or like i wasn't happy with myself i wasn't doing anything that was fun for myself um i didn't even know who i was really and honestly just this last month, I have realized so much and I have decided so much for myself and I have chosen to choose me all the time. Like, all the time. I, I don't know what else to say, like just choosing me, what makes Leah happy, what makes my kids happy, what makes my family happy, what makes my household happy, you know, and I've just been feeling so much better. Like, I went to, like, I was starting to feel better before I went to Ohio. I was feeling good, and I went to Ohio, and I literally made sure while I was in Ohio, like, I ate every breakfast, lunch, and dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I made it when I was in Ohio because it's a lot easier because I knew I had help with feeding my kids. So I could focus more on eating for myself, eating for myself, eating for myself, eating for myself. And 
I got back and I started to just feel better. I've started to just love and be grateful for what I have. Um, and like since then, I just been your girl has been eating. Your girl has been feeling a lot better. Um, I still need to knock this this afternoon nap that I've been taking because it ain't doing me too good. It makes me tired or so. I'm trying to like right now. Typically, I'll be taking a nap. But I laid the kids down and I'm going to take a shower instead because I don't need to take a nap. I need to just stay awake and go to sleep tonight. You know? Honestly, I'm saying that on Fridays are probably a Monday that I probably could take a nap. But I'm just, y'all, I'm just yapping, rambling because y'all, if I can do it, and I'm not even, I'm not even out of it. Like, I can tell y'all that I don't have. There's some days that are not good days for me. Um, some days that are very hard for me. Uh, but just always deciding, like, in this moment, what can make me the happiest? Is me going to sit by the lake? Or is me going on a walk? or me going to bed or me going to get ice cream by myself or me just going off to the store or do I need cuddle do I need help you know what I'm saying do I need to spend a little time with the kids but figuring out what that is so that I can get over how I feel faster and back to like normal like I don't know I don't know I don't know I still have a hard day to say that but overall I've just been thriving in the positivity manifesting being happy thanking god like I, I just don't know like i can honestly tell you a year ago i didn't know where my life would be like i really didn't and that's in like every aspect but today today I got purpose. That's just it. Like, I have a purpose. I am ready for whatever is to come. Um, I'm in a better mental space. I'm in a better physical, mental space, physical health space. Um, I have just felt more alive. And I... The only reason why I'm saying this is because there's been a couple people who have just came to me and said to me, I see you. I see you doing your thing. I, I, it's different. Who you are now and who you were not the same. Like, But I told you guys, I said, I never wanted people to feel bad for me when I was going through a hard time because I said, once I'm out of it, I'm not going through that. Like, I went through it. I felt it. I figured out how to get it out of it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to look back on that. But I knew that I needed to go through that to get to where I am today. And I'm thankful. I'm grateful. And, you know, it, it was crazy because I was listening to something and it was saying how like be grateful for what you have right now and whether that is everything or nothing because you well, like one day that can be taken away. Like you would be grateful for what you had at that time. And I be really thinking that like, I wake up in the morning, what can I do to help another person? What can I do to help my kids? What can I do to make sure my household starts off on a great note in the morning? Um, what can I do to be like you know what I'm saying like just a good person overall and that really is what pushed me through how I have been for this past year really just I don't know helping people choosing other people to help while I'm just fixing myself if that makes sense so I'm helping other people it's my it, it fills my cup but I'm also focused on me too and I don't know if any of that makes sense. I don't know if I'm just rambling on. But <clears throat> your girl's back. Your girl is back. 
And I'm gonna just make the best of it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm back. I'm I'm happy. I'm almost sad though that I, I'm I'm getting back in my groove with things and it's about to get to the coldness again. So but I'm thankful, I'm grateful, I'm happy, I'm doing a lot better health wise, mental wise, physical wise, all the wise. I am doing so much better, y'all. And now while I don't have all the answers, I do know that deciding and really manifesting and praying and and all that got me to where I'm at today. Deciding that the life that I was living was just not a life for me anymore. It just wasn't. And like changing everything, changing my whole, not even changing, I'm still the same person, but just being able to change my mindset and just think of things differently. Not always think of things negatively. Like I, I try my best to not think of things negatively. And if I do, I try not to say them out loud. I try to just keep them in, understand why I felt that way, let it pass, keep it going. But same, if I feel some way in the inside that is not that bad, I mean, that's bad. I'm going to make sure that I do something double positive because it, it, it cancels that out for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little bit cray cray. But I'm happy. And that's all that matters for me right now is I'm doing a lot better. I got a lot of things coming. I got a lot of plans. Uh, I got some places to go. Some people to see. I'm just kidding. Um, but I do have a lot I, and I to look forward to. So that's what I'm looking forward to. And I think everybody who spent time with me when I was in Ohio, um, um, I was so, so, so happy to come home to a clean house. Like I couldn't ask for more. I really couldn't, but I'm clearly, I've been sitting here forever and I need to be getting my butt in the shower. So let me hurry up. Get in the shower real quick. Do all that. And honestly, y'all, I thought about vlogging after, but your girl is going to end off this vlog because I just wanted to, like, end it off with me a nice little talk. A little nice little chat with Leah. You know what I'm saying? Chat with Lo. You know? But, like, my thing, uh, my last question to you guys is, like, what, what has changed for you guys in the last year? Have you felt like you're moving towards your purpose or away from your purpose? Is there something in the way of you figuring out your purpose? Like, what is it? Because I'm telling you right now, it, it, if you don't take the time to find out, it will find out for you. It will strip you to, to, to this all you got. I promise. I've been there. And it, it, it took me realizing that I got to show up for me every time. That made me realize, <clears throat> everything's gonna be okay you know and so that's just what i'm going with i'm rolling with it we'll see how i feel next month <laughs> but anyways y'all let me hurry up and get in the shower real quick i love y'all so much if y'all made it this far i love you even more but remember like y'all made it this far like 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 give me i'll give y'all a second like 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 like, 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 because most people will watch a video and then click out because they don't remember to like it. But like, comment, subscribe, turn those post notifications on so you're notified when the new video is posted. Y'all, thank y'all for coming with me on my little day outside in the scorching hot. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Fuck up in the pants yeah.